The paper will tell us everything that we should be learning about. I guess we're not going to answer that for money, though. That'd be a good thing to do. Do you ever feel like this is home improvement and he's the neighbor on the other side of the fence? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Because yeah. you don't see daddy's face very mm -hmm. often anymore. Mm -hmm. Actually, have we ever seen our dad's you face? You haven't. That's a good movie. You haven't seen it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Some good experience, indeed. So we have to solve these strange incidences in order to level up, pretty much is what he's saying. Okay, Eggplant Boy? I don't know anybody by that name. I think we do remember <laughs> someone named Eggplant Boy. So, and the top story is still... Still the, the train fiasco. The, whatever they called it. They don't really think we're bad people. Actually, no, they don't. They don't really say that too much. You don't talk to somebody and they say, like, Oh, you're the asshole up at the... You're the reason I can't go on the train. I have to commute to work every day. Why did you <laughs> stick that rock there? Yeah. Oh, it's night. Okay. Wait. Why is it night? It's night probably because we did some stuff and decided... No, whatever. But maybe we can try going to this guy over here. Um... This, I think, is the final part of section one of Tulip, in which we don't really do much, but we're... Oh, look. Ah. <laughs> uh, you remember him? Isn't he the guy in the... That was in the hole? Yep. And Dr. Dandy is still asleep, though. In Boston, it's a best first of the oh. and buff first hunts the best. Okay, I'll do that. But since he's sleeping, oh, oh, I guess we just can't go back in there. I'm not, I guess, I think you have to go, maybe you have to stay in there from when it is office hours and just don't wake him up or something. Or maybe yeah. we just happen to because, uh, <laughs> what's his name? Um, the leather guy, the guy in leather pretty much only comes out at a certain time. And, and he goes to the doctor? No, it's actually a stretching class. There was a poster on the wall that says it's a stretching class from 7.30 to 8.30 every night. So, but we walked in the trailer, but no one's there. Whatever. I'm sure nothing cool is in there at all. It says charge him. But so... Hmm. Mr. Police Officer, does he just... Oh! Run away! <laughs> yeah. That answered my question. Yep. Charge no. him? No. Nope. Don't do it! Charge Don't him! Look out! Oh. 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 So, uh, we can't walk in front of him when he has his, when he has his lights on, pretty much. That, that is his... That's it's like a Metal Gear Solid guard, kind of. But instead of an exclamation mark, or an excla exclamation point, he takes out his... Uh, his gun and shoots you? <laughs> yep. Alright, well, nothing doing with that. I guess we'll just go home. Dad! Well, we're doing okay. But, we're gonna ask the question. Hmm. Oh, that's good enough, I suppose. Hmm. We have to tell her how... All our, we have to tell her all of our feelings on the Lover's Tree Hill. I wonder where that is. So let's charge him as he takes a pee. I guess technically they said he's like freshening up. Mm -hmm. That's what he's doing. He's like, you know. Maybe we, he, uh, it's kind of funny to think about that a little bit. All right. Time for bed. Nothing doing. Now we just say, we just kind of healed our five hearts because healing five hearts at this point in the game, it's pretty difficult. Because, you know, we have we can go wash our hands. I think that's the only thing that we've seen that, like, always heals ourselves. Hmm, what's up? I said, Dad. what's up? Dad! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That'd be a weird way to wake up. By the way, charge him! I'm going into a coma. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. Something's going on. So, since we went to bed and woke up, ah, Mr. Yamada is missing. The street pole guy. 
Hmm. Oh, he likes soccer. Hmm. Yep. Is that our first typo of the game? There's a lot of them. But that's one of them. I was trying to figure out what score <laughs> was. That's, I don't... I'm pretty sure it's not just some kind of weird, like, uh, kind of underground, rebellious thing that kids are doing nowadays where they they kick things at places where they shouldn't be. But I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be soccer. Maybe soccer is like parkour and soccer combined. Like, maybe that's what they actually kind of meant by it. Maybe it's not a typo. Huh. I guess I don't know. Alright, Charge, I'm, I'm sure that wasn't important. Because... We still haven't been to this place, and we still can't go there. Alright. Hmm. So I'm not sure what we're doing right now. Because we can't go to the bathhouse right there, and we can't go to there. But now, since Mr. Yamada is missing, he's not missing anymore. He's just hiding out up there. Yes, we were. Yep, because we heard him. Him and Mr. Suzuki having a huge argument. And now he talks about a bunch of grown up shit. Residence tax. Yep. It's tough being a teacher. I don't get paid very much. Yeah, so he's just. There's a reason to be angry, I suppose. You know, I first... think I would be upset. Yeah, if that was your job and all of a sudden you weren't getting paid. Like, what are you going to do? But since he got out of the way, this is a long life vista point. So that seems like a pretty good thing to do. AKA the slapping tree. <laughs> so it's a good thing we read that. Because if we decided to go, we wouldn't be able to do anything yet. AKA the slapping tree. Yeah. Which is probably exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> There's a trash can over here, kind of by uh, Julie's Bar and Grill. And we can actually go inside. Because I think beforehand they were just arguing in front of it. We haven't tried to go in here yet. You can see, there they are. So clean that part of the bar every day. They kind of have this weird little um, schedule that we always follow by. So she'll... <laughs> Will not be unimpeded by such uh, pesky children, such as charge him. So it's time to start cooking. So what do you suppose she's cooking? Uh, sweet potatoes. Good guess. Good guess. Because uh, Goro is um. That's drunk. Having a bad. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Never kiss a man with a head with a headache. Charge him. That should be something that you know. But maybe this will make you feel better. Hey. It's the art of recovering one heart. Which I don't think it's true. I'm pretty sure it's two. I'm pretty sure we get two hearts from a cold sweet potato. So maybe. Maybe Charge him only has one heart, really. Maybe that's what Goto meant. Sad day. Mm -hmm. Alright, later that night. Maybe we can sense Mr. Suzuki and Mr. Yamada were arguing. Maybe he'll know something more about it now. So we'll see what he has to say. And yes, that is a brush on top of his head. <laughs> yep. Hi. Let's go. Issues, indeed. Well, we found them. Huh. Okay, well, yeah. You better be. be what if he doesn't? <laughs> then do. Alright, I guess we were paying the first attention the first time. <laughs> there we go. Good call, Charge Him. He thought maybe there was more rules of love now. There aren't. I'm pretty sure there's always just three. Yeah. First rule is get experience, second rule is write a love letter, and third rule is pay attention. Pretty much. That about sums it up. But it's about 5 o'clock right now, and at 5 o'clock, there comes Mr. Music Box. And charge him, if he was paying attention, the third rule of love, he would know that. And he didn't... He, that was some pretty bad advice from Goto, because <laughs> Charchim did not maximize its full effect. So, 
And what did he say? We've been almost again, but he said, to the last note. To the last note. There you go. Oh, oh, charge him. You took too much time, charge him. Ah, uh, but that's it. That's the idea. That is how, that is how these things work. Right. Yep. Stand up, charge him. Get him, get him, get him. Oh no, that was so unfortunate. You want to know why? Because when Charchin falls over like that, you have to press a button in order to stand up. So, oh, no. so he doesn't move up. He doesn't stand up right away. So going by the 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 frame and pixel animation, we would have had that case if Charchin didn't stand on his butt for no. that one second. Oh well. Or maybe kisses are impossible. Who knows? At this point in the game, I'm everything's a question. Sorry. That's fine. But Enter. if we can kiss him, maybe we can kiss the guy that's wrapped up in chains. But where is he? He's supposed to be here. He was here last time, it just says charge him. But if you pay attention to the sign, it would have said 7.30. But it's almost 7.30. Be patient. Mm. Five minutes. That's actually the fourth rule of love. The fourth just, rule of love. Just be patient. Five minutes. There he comes. I think it's uh, Chuck. That was his name. Chuck is right now is pretty angry, and charge him decides, hey, maybe, well, no. Doesn't work out too well for him. So, uh, and then this, people don't like that part about Tulip is because since we missed out on those things, we now have to wait until that time again. Mm -hmm. But, if you notice, remember how Batian didn't really, when we showed him the, 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 the sweet potato, he was like, oh, well, I don't have a lot to eat. And he was just thinking of that trash can, too. I don't like. Oh, well, I don't think he likes Michelle that much. Um, I, don't, I don't know if we do either. Where's he going? Let's follow him. Have we seen what Batayan done? About the done. Batayan does yet? Mm -mm. See, I think this is something kind of neat. Since Michelle is cleaning, she'll actually be cleaning this little walkway. And we can actually see Batayan walk through there. And it's always kind of something that a person can do in this game, is they can just kind of... The NPCs are always <laughs> always doing something. <laughs> so right now, Batayan is trying to make some money by sitting. But if you remember, he can't make any money. So hey, we'll tip him a cold soup potato. And Michelle uh. is trying to keep this... the. So I think that's a good reason why... Batian doesn't like Michelle's because he can't even he can't even do the thing that he likes doing. Yeah, yeah I don't know. If, I don't know if anyone is yet. Huh. Maybe he gives up too easily. Or maybe that he really should listen to Michelle, whose job it is to keep this this straight. Something's gonna try again. Good call. He's not giving up. We thought he was giving up. Oh, well, I got I got something. Oh, it was a pack of cigarettes. That's how Batian always smokes. Is that the guy at the tobacco shop always gives him one? Charchim's got to really pay more attention to where he's standing. Because <laughs> now, that's his payment. In fact, if you looked at that, I'm pretty sure the guy at that shop was just giving him cigarettes so he'd leave. <laughs> so maybe that's not a bad idea. He has no job, you can't see him. Hmm. He's trying to laugh about it, but I don't know if he thinks it's funny. I don't want to make you feel better. Yeah! Aww. You won't be hungry. Beggars can't be choosers, Mr. Homeless Man. No, he's not homeless. Oh, he lives in the trailer. He lives in the trailer. So, but he'll just kind of stay there for a long time. Um... We can get a permanent, it's their 20th anniversary, so the conductor's been working there ever since they've been open. And we can get a kiss. If we do things right. And he's... <laughs> yep. Pretty sure I already saw that. Yeah. Um, that was section one of True Lip, a.k.a. the section in which... Charge him, pokes things with a stick, and they <laughs> poke back five times harder. Yes, very much so. 